something somber in the eyes of the men. Something of winter in their faces. Patriots. 48 yard field goal attempt. Set to go. Snap ball down. Kick up. Kick is on the way. And it is good. It's good. And the Patriots are Super Bowl champions. The Patriots triumph in Super Bowl 36 capped a magical run. Comprising of a comeback for the ages in a raging snowstorm. And a monumental upset of the heavily favored Steelers at Pittsburgh. And it was all captained by an improbable star, a former fourth-string quarterback named Tom Brady. Has that ever crossed your mind that, boy, this is really so I might never be back here again? I had an equipment manager in college, and he had been in Michigan for 25 years or so. He's got so many Big Ten rings. I mean, he doesn't have enough fingers for all the rings he's got. And he says, you know what? I'll never he says, you know what, Tom? You know what my favorite ring is? And I said, which one's that? And he goes, the next one. And I, that's what I think, the next one. The quest for the next one resumed in 2002. In the season's final week against the first place Dolphins, the Patriots overcame an 11-point deficit in the last three minutes of regulation, then won in overtime. It's good, and the Patriots win! <laughs> While the cheers were loud in Foxborough, they were roaring 200 miles south at the Meadowlands. The win gave the New York Jets the inside track on the AFC's final playoff spot, and three hours later, the Patriots were eliminated. A shocking AFC Eastern Division championship team in the New York Jets. It probably hurt more than any other point in my career because you set a standard about winning, you set a standard about winning championships, that's where you want to stay. When you win a Super Bowl and you say I'm a world champion, it was that year that you were the best. To be able to hold that, that trophy up and say, hey, we accomplished something as a team, ultimate team goal. The 2003 season began with a significant setback. Defensive captain Lawyer Malloy was released. As a head football coach, I make a lot of decisions, and, and I make a lot of hard ones, and that was as hard as any decision I've made as a coach. But again, as we like to say in New England, it's not collecting talent, it's building a team. Five days after his release, the Patriots visited Malloy's new home for the season opener and got buffaloed. The absolute last thing the Patriots wanted, they got. We just laid an egg. They just came out and they just flat kicked our butts. And I, and I went in and I told a couple of guys, I said, hey man, you know, they're not going to feel sorry for us. No one cares about what happened with the Lawyer Malloy situation. They had us in the power rankings as the 29th ranked team in the league. No one cares. So let's get it together. Let's stop feeling sorry for ourselves. And let's go out here and let's, let's, let's step up and, and kick some butt. But first, the Patriots had more adversity to overcome. In week two against the Eagles, their highest priced free agent, Linebacker Roosevelt Colvin suffered a season-ending hip injury while recovering the fumble. But just when the Patriots' outlook appeared bleakest, the team rose to the challenge and never looked back. They get to know it. Brady, play action, wide open. Touchdown, back of the end zone to Christian Fourier. Brady torched the highly regarded Philadelphia Eagles secondary. Play action fake. Looks, fires down the middle, touchdown, touchdown, right down the shoot to Deion Branch. New England's defense constantly harassed the Eagles quarterback Donovan McNabb. McNabb 
was sacked seven times as the Patriots forced six turnovers. Back to throw McNabb. Steps, fires, picked off. Teddy Bruschi, he will walk into the end zone. Touchdown! And the Patriots have blown the doors open here. After the convincing win, one thing was certain. The Patriots were losing players, but losing games was not going to be tolerated. In week three, the Patriots limped into Foxborough for their home opener. Without four opening day starters, new heroes emerged. Play action fake by Brady. Looking, 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 looking. Find him, find someone. He finds him. At the 15, at the 10 yard line, Daniel Graham down inside the 10 to the 5. Great job by Brady. Brady connected with lesser known targets and managed to find the end zone even when his receivers were covered. Play action fake Brady looking in the end zone, going to run it and take it in. Touchdown, Tom Brady. Establishing a pattern for the season, the defense came up with a big play when needed. Here's the rush. He steps, he fires left. It is picked off by the second at the 20 minutes, the defense held the Redskins to one first down and 25 total yards. The Patriots closed within 20 to 17, but were unable to overcome their early mistakes. In the final minute, facing fourth and three from the Redskins 38, Brady's pass to Daniel Graham was knocked away. The Patriots lost, dropping their record to two and two. They would not lose again. In week five, the Patriots welcomed one of the league's most physical teams with a surprise attack deep. Brady back to throw. Stands in, stands in, shoots it long and deep. Troy Brown, he's got it! At the five and he's in! Touchdown with a great throw! Tom Brady to Troy Brown! Perfect pass, over the shoulder catch. Then the Patriots stunned everybody by successfully running into the teeth of the Titans' bottom defensive front. Brady the handoff to Antoine, right to the end zone, touchdown. The Patriots ran for 161 yards with 73 coming from yet another unlikely star. Former Boston College standout Mike Cloud. Brady the handoff to Cloud to the left, touchdown, yes. Mike Cloud pounds it in, takes the handoff, comes to the left side, he's at the 10, he's at the 5, and he's in Cloud's two scores put the Patriots up four with just over three minutes left. Enough time for Steve McNair to win the game. But Ty Law playing with a severely sprained ankle wasn't about to let that happen. Fires to the right, picked up, Ty Law, left side, he's going to go all the way. Ty Law, a pass interception return, touchdown Patriots, and the Pats get the first turnover and make it count. Law's gritty effort served as another example of the Patriots' unwillingness to lose. In week six, the Patriots had to brave not just their many injuries, but also heavy rain. A fierce storm reduced the field to a muddy pit, but it was the Patriots' defense that did the most damage. Sweep left side to Tiki Barber. Hit the back. Heading down the right sideline, Matt Chatham. He's going to go in. Touchdown. Boy, oh boy, what a nice job.
job he did in picking up the ball and outrunning anybody in pursuit. The Patriots' defense forced turnovers on two of the Giants' first three plays from scrimmage and tallied five for the game. Rush is coming. He gets rid of the ball. It's floating. It is intercepted. Direct snap to Collins. Stands in there being rushed. Fires. It is intercepted. Couple of steps. Looks to the left. Fires to the left. It is picked up. Intercepted by hey, Eugene Wilson. Fourth Patriot pickoff of the game. Kevin Fox sloshed through the slop for 87 yards and helped set up the game's only offensive touchdown. Give to Mike Cloud, into the end zone, touchdown, Mike Cloud. Despite the difficult conditions, Brady made the big throws when called upon. The victory lifted the Patriots to four and two. With optimism soaring to new heights, New England was now only a half game behind the Dolphins in the AFC East standings. With first place on the line, the Dolphins trotted out their best player, while the Patriots stuck to their philosophy of team. We walking out together. We walking out together. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Walk out together. Squad, hit him from the you know, start of the game. That's all we can do, and all we'll do is win the football game. It's gonna be easy. All right. We'll play concentrate time. We'll play on it. All right. Despite the assurances that this would be easy, Ricky Williams found nowhere to run. Cornerback Tyrone Poole jump-started the Patriots' opportunistic defense. The throw dumps it quickly over the middle on a quick slant caught by Chambers, and he is finally brought down. The ball is on the ground. It is picked up by the Patriots. On the right sideline, Rodney Harrison to the 30. To the 25-yard line of the Dolphins goes Rodney Harrison. They ripped it right out of Chambers' hands. The Patriots' ball-hawking secondary victimized the Dolphins yet again. Down 13 to 6 in the third quarter, the Patriots offense throws 76 yards and 14 plays to tie the score. Fires, caught, leaping grab, touchdown, touchdown, Patriots to David Gibbons. But the game appeared lost when a late Dolphins drive set up Miami kicker Olindo Mare for the game-winning field goal. From the dirt part of the infield, they snapped the ball down. The kick is blocked! The kick is blocked! And picked up by the Patriots up to the 35-yard line! The game went into overtime where the tension immediately escalated. On the opening drive of overtime, the Dolphins took advantage of a missed out-of-bounds call to once again march into range for a game-winning field goal. Set to go, snap, the ball is down, the kick is up, and it is no good! No good! Wide to the right, Olinda Mare! The Dolphins' next possession ended with yet another miscue. the very next play, Brady and the Patriots made certain Mare and the Dolphins would not get another chance. Spins, pump fakes, looking over the middle, now nobody there. Now he shoots it long and deep for Troy Brown. He's got it! He's got it! The 15 to the 10 to the 5! Touchdown! 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 Way to go, brother! And the Patriots win it over time! What a win! 
now 5-2, the Patriots were all alone in first place in the AFC East, and their position in the standings would stay that way for the remainder of the season. In Week 8, New England continued their ascent to the National Football League elite. Offensively, the Patriots gained 347 yards, but managed to score only three field goals. But the Patriots still found a way to win, thanks to a suffocating defensive display led by Mike Vrabel, who had three sacks. Up 9-3 in the final minute, Law extinguished any hope of a Browns comeback. The Patriots win streak had reached four, and it was only just beginning. In week nine, the Patriots entered the Monday night spotlight. It's prime time right here. You grew up watching this. If you ain't had cable coming up, you still can watch this game here on Monday night. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, I'm wired for sound. Let's do what we do. Early on, New England's defense made it known this was going to be a physical affair. Patriots trailed 7 to nothing after their first two drives ended in turnovers, but that changed one play into their third possession. Play action fake by Brady. Looking up the field, shooting it long and deep open branch. He's got it at the 10 of the 5, and he's in. They tried it deep and nice. Damn. They threw that thing up top, didn't they? That's all they get. Despite Wilson's promise, Brady continued to baffle the Broncos. Toss sweep, Brady rolls to the right, fires end zone, touchdown! That's that, that's that crack toss look, too. They did a good job, man. They fooled me. After enjoying their first lead of the game at 20-17, the Patriots fell behind again less than three minutes later. O'Neal feels it on the fly at the 45, to the 50, to the 45 of the Patriots, to the 40, to the 30, he's going to go all the way for a touchdown. 55-yard punt return by Delta O'Neal. Down by one and facing fourth down with less than three minutes left, Bill Belichick made the boldest and best coaching decision of the season by calling for a deliberate safety. Hey, what happened on that safety, man? I ain't even see what happened. Boy, this been a crazy ass game, you hear me? The bewildered Broncos then made a critical misjudgment on the subsequent free kick. Bouncing over the head of O'Neal, back inside the 20. He's chasing it down at the 17. He's got it at the 17, and he has blasted down. What do you think, boy? Just not tonight. Just not tonight. After getting the ball back, Falk helped the Patriots march downfield. Rolls to the right, swings it back a middle, over the middle to Kevin Falk, gets it out to the 47-yard line. Back to throw, gives ground, fires a screen to the right to Kevin Falk. Falk across the 45, to the 40, to the 35, to the 34 of Denver. Third down and 10, direct snap to Brady. Looks, fires, caught by Kevin Falk inside the 20. Down to the 18-yard line goes Falk. Resilient Patriots had discovered yet another way to win a football game. Week 11 marked the return of Bill Parcells with his Cowboys sporting a gaudy 7-2 record. But neither Parcells nor his Cowboys could stop the surging Patriots. Offensively, the Patriots produced only two big plays, but it would be all they need. Fires down the field wide open. The young rack of the 40, 35, 30. That's not 25, 20, 15. Direct snap to Brady, here comes everybody. Brady to throw, left side, long and deep. It is caught by David Gibbons. Juking him out at the 30, 25, 20, 15, left side, 10. Down to the five yard line. First to 
one goal to go. Gibbons' reception set up the game's only touchdown. Antoine to the right, drives it down and in. Touchdown, Antoine Smith. The Patriot defense swarmed Cowboys quarterback Quincy Carter and punished his receivers. The Cowboys eventually unraveled. Play action fake by Carter, looking left all the way. Fires to the left, could be picked off and in. Intercepted by Tyrone Poole. Here's a rush, gets rid of the ball. It is intercepted, picked off by Tyrone at the 19-yard line. The Patriots collected three interceptions and their first shutout in 130 games. At 8-2, the Patriots were starting to draw the league's attention. New England walked gingerly into Houston, hoping to avoid a letdown. Statistically, the game was an overwhelming mismatch. The Patriots' defense allowed just 11 first downs and 159 total yards. Tom Brady completed 29 of 47 passes for 368 yards. Fires down the field, caught. Bethel Johnson down and in. Touchdown. Nice job. Kevin Falk outgained the Texans by himself with 188 yards from scrimmage. But despite dominating, the Patriots needed one more play in the final minute to avoid defeat. 48 seconds left, patch trail 20 to 13. Fourth and inches for Brady. In motion right to left goes Fourier. Hand off to Nolan. Brady rolls right, looks right, looks, looks, fires end zone. Touchdown! Great leaping catch in the end zone by Daniel Graham. In overtime, the Texans hung tough but eventually faltered. Pass intercepted by Mike Brady. The Patriots get the turnover. After suffering a block kick earlier in overtime, Vinatieri delivered. Snap, ball down, kick is up, kick is on the way, and the kick is good! Patriots win in overtime! Let's get out of here! What a grinder this one was! Next for the Patriots, the high-flying 9-2 Colts. Get on three, one, two, three, win! Continually praised for his intelligence and field awareness, Colts quarterback Peyton Manning looked dumbstruck by the Patriots' defensive scheme. Manning's counterpart, Tom Brady, calmly surveyed the field and picked the Colts apart. Stands in there, stands in there, fires, it is caught, it's tried, five, touchdown, Patriots, Diedrich Ward, Tom Brady, rifles, a 34-yard touchdown pass to Diedrich Ward. What a rope he threw in the middle there, and uh, Diedrich Ward just in stride once again. Tom Brady hitting these guys in stride. The Colts closed within 17 to 10 with 12 seconds left in the half, then kicked off to Bethel Johnson. Edge to the 10, to the 15, turns right to the 20, needs to be the man at the 25, he does at the 30, 35, 40, 45, reach at the 50, back to the inside, 45, 40, 35, 30, heading left, 25, yes, yes, 92 yard kickoff return for Bethel Johnson. Patriots offense began the second half with an 11-play, 61-yard drive, culminating with Mike Cloud's second touchdown of the game. That, that was a statement drive. They made another statement. But they wanted to come through all the crap, trying to stop the run on first down, and if it's second and longer, they'll go to Tampa, and if it's third down, they'll look to play a little three balls of Tampa in there. Nothing on you. Know, After the Colts stormed back to tie the game at 31, the Patriots regrouped 
in order to regain their focus for crunch time. Once again, it was Beth L. Johnson who turned the momentum back in the Patriots' favor. Three plays after Johnson's 67-yard kickoff return, Brady faced a pivotal third and seven. Brady on the play-action fake, fires to the right, open, touchdown, touchdown to Dion! Touchdown pass to Brady. What a beautiful play. They faked the draw, and then Brady kept the ball under pressure. He got it out into the corner of the end zone and the touchdown. Beautiful, beautiful execution of that play by Tom Brady. The Colts narrowed the gap to 38-34, to then drove downfield in the game's final minutes for what they expected to be the game-winning touchdown. With 40 seconds left, the Colts needed only two yards to hand the Patriots a crushing defeat. The Patriots defense then produced one of the great goal line stands in NFL history. Down to 25 seconds left. Manning calling signal. Manning hand off to James. He is stopped. He is stopped. Third down and goal to go for the Colts at the Patriot one yard line. We have 18 seconds remaining, Manning to throw. Spot pass to the end zone, throws it away, incomplete. Fourth down and goal to go for the Colts. Now, it is all on this one. Fourth down, 15 seconds to go, the handoff to Wedger is stopped. He is stopped! He is stopped! Willie McGinnis made the stress at the one yard line! Do you believe it? How about that? Willie McGinnis knifed across the line of scrimmage and stopped Edger and James at the one yard line. With 11 seconds to go, the Patriots take over on down. Still like exhausted and, and totally surprised of what happened. I mean, just the way this team continues to, to find, to dig deep in, inside and, and just find a way to win. I mean, unbelievable. I've never been part of something like this. Good afternoon, everyone. As good as it can be, because as you all know, we're still in the throes of a snowstorm. It is very cold with the temperature below 30 degrees right now, and the snow continues to fall. The snow is packed up all around the stadium. A lot of people, I'm sure, couldn't even get out of their driveway to get here for this game. Ricky Williams and the Miami Dolphins offense were completely immobilized, whitewashed by the New England defense. Fake by Fiedler, he's hit and he's sacked. A fourth fumble of the play. Ball on the ground. Patriots have it at about their own 29 yard line. Oh boy, what a big play. Fiedler out of a shotgun takes the direct snap. Here's the play. Fires intercepted. Tie law. And again, the Patriot defense comes up big. In the fourth quarter, the Patriots defense came up with the biggest play of all. Intercepted. Touchdown. Teddy Bruschi. He caught it at about the four or five yard line and just waltz into the end zone and the fans are throwing snow into the air. Look at they don't throw it in here. <laughs> snow is flying everywhere. What a sight. On the Dolphins' final offensive play, the Patriots defense gave the fans one more chance to rejoice. Red snap, back to throw. Pump fakes, going to be sacked in the end zone for a safety. Jarvis Green sacks him in the end zone, and Gillette Stadium explodes with snow in the air again. The victory marked the fourth consecutive home game. The Patriots did not allow a touchdown. In week 15, the Patriots unleashed their homeland defense on the Jacksonville Jaguars. The 
Patriots' first drive ended with a Tom Brady scoring strike. Brady fired for the left. In the second half, New England's secret weapon tumbled down from the heavens, and Jacksonville's offense dropped out of sight. Now in his element, Brady looked to extend the Patriots' lead by seeking out his most reliable target, wide receiver Troy Brown. Back to throw. Stands in, stands in, fires end zone. Touchdown, Troy Brown. Who else? After another snowy celebration, the Patriots were 12 and 2. In week 16, the Patriots arrived in New York and immediately humbled their heralded young quarterback. Chad Pennington's second pass resulted in a Teddy Bruschi interception. Brady's first pass turned the mistake into points. Looking, throwing to the end zone. Man is there. Touchdown. First play of the game. Pennington's struggles continued. Back to throw. Pennington throws. Tipped in the air. Pick off. Will he get it? He is going to run it in for a touchdown. The fifth time this season they have returned a pass interception for a touchdown. Sticking to the formula, a big play defense coupled with an efficient offense, the Patriots extended their lead. Brady, play action fake, looking, looking, end zone, wide open, touchdown to David Gibbons. The Patriots' unrelenting pass rush consistently converged on the Jets and battled quarterback. While the secondary zeroed in on his passes. Blitz, he looks, he fires to the right, and it is... Intercepted by Ty Law. What an interception. Great he play. Made. Up five in the final minute, the Patriots' fifth interception sealed the victory and won a rival's respect. Hey, you keep playing your ass off, all right? That damn Klecko, man. Yeah, that dude, he's like scrappy. Now, Brent. Seth, that's how they've been winning all year, like that. Just like that. The Patriots' final regular season game had fans thinking back to the first one. Judging by the Patriots' most dominating performance of the year, that 31-0 Week 1 loss in Buffalo was likely on the players' minds as well. Brady's back to throw. Steps, fires over the middle, caught by David Gibbons. Into the end. Looking left, fires left. Caught there by Bethel Johnson, scoots it down, and in. Touchdown! By halftime, the Patriots' lead was 28-0. Tom Brady has thrown four first half touchdown passes. Ahead 31 to nothing in the second half, the Patriots defense did their best to make the ironic reversal in score hold. The Bills drove into Patriots territory four times, but the proud Patriots defense forced turnover after turnover and refuse to surrender a single point. The throw to the end zone, Paul. Intercepted! The Patriots preserve the shutout. The season ends with a spectacular finish. After bidding farewell to a few old friends, the Patriots paraded triumphantly into the postseason. Foxborough's Gillette Stadium. It is the AFC semifinal matchup. It is a bitter cold night. It is the coldest game in Foxborough history as right now it is five degrees above zero with a wind chill at minus three. I can't feel my hands or feet, man. I'm freaking out. Big thing that kept me warm was seeing our fans in the stands. You know, that they're the ones up there that are, that are bundled up up to their eyes, you know, and they've got their clothes on that they can barely see, but this, they're still up there cheering and fighting for us. We have heat warmers. They don't have heat warmers. And we get to go inside. We get to move around and break, break a sweat and kind of work up a lather. But they don't. They have to sit in that cold weather. And for them to sit out there and to sacrifice it and to support us in that cold weather, it makes you want to go out there and run through a brick wall. It makes you want to give that extra effort. And that's what true home field advantage is about. The Titans watched helplessly as the energized Patriots scored on their first possession. Takes the snap on third and six. Time fires down the middle. Open. Caught. Touchdown. 
Touchdown, Patriots, to Bethel Johnson. Great protection for Tom Brady. Bethel Johnson, with his great speed, went right by the safety. A perfect pass, a catch, a touchdown. The Patriots are on top. Brady not only flourished in the bitter cold, but was unafraid to throw himself in harm's way. On Bethel Johnson's 14-yard catch and run, it was Brady who threw the key block. After the Titans had come back to tie the score, the Patriots launched an 11-play, 57-yard drive. On third down and three from the Titans' six, Brady scrambled for a crucial first down. Brady's dive set up a run up the middle by Antoine Smith. Hand off Antoine left, in, touchdown! The defense ignored the cold and focused on containing McNair. So take him wider, take him up the field until you almost get on McNair's shoulder and then come back. Because that way McNair should be looking to step up. After the Titans tied the game at 14, the Patriots held Tennessee scoreless for the game's final 22 minutes. Back to throw McNair, fires it long and deep to the right side and is intercepted. In the fourth quarter, the Patriots offense needed to assemble one last drive to break the deadlock. From the Titans 33, Belichick made a calculated gamble. Fourth down and three at the Tennessee 33. Direct snap to Brady. Looks, fires near side, caught near side. First down to Troy Brown. Two else, Mr. Clutch. On the ensuing fourth down, the Patriots called upon the best clutch kicker in NFL history. Snap, ball down, kick up, on the way. You know he's got to come through. And it is good! Just got over, good. Vinatieri again came through under pressure, and with just over four minutes left, it was now up to the Patriots' defense to keep the league's co-MVP from producing similar heroics. The Titans drove inside Patriots territory, creating a few anxious moments at Gillette Stadium. But just when the Patriots needed the most, the crowd roared back to life and the defense responded. The Patriots defense has to make one more play. And they've got to make it right here and right now. Fourth and 12, Patriot 42 yard line. McNair makes the snap. Back to throw the blitz. He lets it go, and it is called incomplete. Incomplete. We live another week. After besting the Titans, the Patriots were on to the AFC Championship game. It is cold, 32 degrees. The wind chill is 20. It is snowing. Perfect, perfect weather for New Englanders this afternoon as the Patriots look to stop the high-powered Indianapolis Colts as the road to Super Bowl 38 in Houston goes right down Route 1 here in Foxborough. Good day for some football. I want to go home. Houston. New England football, December, January, when you get the snow falling on the ground. I knew it was going to be special, and I knew we weren't going to lose. Brimming with confidence, the Patriots took the opening kickoff and methodically marched downfield. Belichick kept his offense motoring, not even stopping on fourth and one. And they're going to go for it. Now that's confidence. Fourth and inches. Calling signals, quarterback sneak. Plows it across the 45 for a first down. That was gutsy. First and goal to go at the Colts' seven-yard line. Brady has been magnificent so far. Brady fakes the pass left. Now fires left, right open. Touchdown, David Gibbons. Tom 
the Brady pump fake the swift screen left and then fired it into the end zone to Gibbons. And the Patriots take the opening drive and go 65 yards. The Patriots then baited Manning, who was perfect in his two previous playoff games, into his first of many mistakes. Here's the rush, fires to the end zone, intercepted in the end zone by Rodney Harrison. Patriots take over. First time that Manning has been picked off in the postseason. On the Colts' next possession, Manning looked for perennial all-pro receiver Marvin Harrison, but hadn't accounted for the Patriots' all-world corner, Ty Law. Play action fake, throw, rolling to the right, rolling to the right, throws downfield, it is intercepted! Great play by Ty Law, he read the coverage and Peyton once again, throwing off his back foot. Ty Law comes in to make the play. Second pick in the first quarter. What a great play by Ty Law! Leaped in the air, caught it with one hand, and held on as he hit the ground. Two passes, two interceptions by the Patriots, and they take over. Behind a superb offensive line, which did not allow a sack, Tom Brady played efficient, error-free football and quarterbacked the Patriots back into scoring position. Brian Kitchen to snap the ball, is down, the kick is up, and it is right down the pipe. The score, the Patriots 10 and the Colts nothing. Colts' third drive resulted in their first punting situation of the postseason. Snap is all over his head. Way back. Hunter Smith is going to have to kick it out for a safety. 15-0 in favor of New England. Everything has gone wrong. Certainly momentum and the weather strongly favored the Patriots. While New England reveled in the conditions, the elements, along with the Patriots' hard-hitting defense, combined to rattle Indianapolis. Looking, dumps it over the middle, caught over the middle, fumble, ball is on the ground, the Patriots have it. Third Colt turnover of the game. Harrison makes the catch, and he takes the hit right after he makes the catch, coughs up the football, and the Patriots are back in business. While the Colts struggled to hold on to the football, the Patriots seized every opportunity. and the Patriots defense relentlessly pressured Manning. The secondary did the same with the Colts receivers. Manning was free to pass. His favorite target wound up being Ty Law. Stands in, rolls to his right. Here's the pressure. Dumps it off to the right. And it's picked off by Ty Law. His second of the game. Law would get the best of Manning a third time. Direct snap to Manning. Standing in there. Fires to the right. Intercepted Ty Law. His third pass interception of the game. Four interceptions of Peyton Manning today. Three by Ty Law. Good grief. New England's offense did its part in keeping Manning and the Colts off the field. Antoine Smith led all rushers with 100 yards on 22 carries. Terry ended any last thoughts of a Colts comeback with a game-clinching field goal. And the kick is good! And wow. Terry, five field goals! And the Patriots are heading back to the Super Bowl! All of the 
popular sentiment was that no one could stop the Colts. Well, someone just did. No one thought we could do it. They didn't give us a chance. Defense wins championship. We got a special thing here, and it's fun to come out here and practice, and it's fun to work hard because you realize that you're accountable to each one of those guys. After being crowned kings of the AFC, only one task remained, adding another world championship banner. Good evening, everyone. From Reliance Stadium in Houston, Texas, it's Super Bowl 38. The Patriots this afternoon begin a quest for their second Super Bowl championship in the last three years and their 15th victory in a row. Super Bowl 38. The Panthers and the Patriots here at a sold-out Reliance Stadium in Houston, Texas. Both sides jacked up, and well, they should be, because the winner of this game takes home the Vince Lombardi Trophy as champions of the National Football League. It was billed as a slugfest between two of the NFL's best defenses. And for nearly the entire first half, it played out just as expected. The Patriots' defense was especially dominant. For most of the half, Carolina's powerful ground game had nowhere to run. Until the running game gets going here, it could be a long day for Jake DeLome. Panthers quarterback Jake DeLome was sacked three times in the first half. He completed just one of his first nine passes as the Patriots repeatedly roughed up his receivers. Carolina has zero total yards of offense. Zero. This game is like Yale versus Harvard in 1938 with leather helmets. It might be 6-0 when we get done today. The Patriots had their chances. Kicker Adam Vinatieri missed a short field goal in the first quarter and had another blocked midway through the second. With six minutes remaining in the first half, Super Bowl 38 was still scoreless. And the Panthers have stopped the Patriots again! So Adam Vinatieri is 0 for 2 in field goal attempts. This is the longest scoreless stretch to begin a Super Bowl ever. If we can get seven points on the board, we can make these guys, it can really be hard for them because they're struggling with our defense. And yet, there's nothing I can tell you we're doing a hell of a lot bad other than we can up that short yardage, okay? Let's roll up our sleeves, go to work, all right? And hand them and get seven on there. You guys are going to have a hard time. That's our defense to do. The Patriots' defense produced the game's first pivotal play. Drops back to throw. Hit the pressure. Hit the ball to the ground. Patriots recover for Carolina 19. The Panthers in this first half are now minus eight yards offense. Mike Vrabel's forced fumble gave New England the ball at the Panthers' 20. Four plays later, the scoreless tie was broken. Action fake. Fires it. Touchdown, Deion Rash. Patriots grab the lead. Tom Brady, who is 5-0 in the postseason, has just put the Patriots on top. With just over three minutes to play in the half, the Panthers mounted a 95-yard drive. 
In a game once dominated by defense, now the quarterbacks were looming large. Downfield, he throws it up for Steve Smith. Tom Brady answered on the next possession. Steps up, steps up, looks, shoots it down the field, in stride, Deion Brandt to the 15-yard line, touchdown Patriots. Brady drove his team 78 yards in just 49 seconds, and New England regained the lead. End zone, touchdown, touchdown to David Gibbon. Tom Brady, little play action to Antoine with the bullet. In a half where no one was able to score earlier, now no one could miss. John Casey's 50-yard field goal capped a furious finish that saw 24 points scored in the final three minutes. Good! John Casey at the end of the half, and the Panthers are within four in the most bizarre final two minutes in the Super Bowl's first half in a long time. Time can fly at the Super Bowl. And a fast-paced scoreless third quarter came to an end with Tom Brady driving the Patriots towards a touchdown. Inside the 10-yard line, it's Daniel Graham. First and goal to go, Patriots. For Brady! Brady drops straight back to throw. Fires to the left. Caught! Touchdown! Far side of the end zone, no. They say Christian Fourier did not have his feet in bounds. You know what? Looks like they had him Looks both like in. he had them both feet in. The Patriots did not challenge the call, but a Panther holding penalty set up a first and goal. Smith to the right, he is in. Touchdown, Antoine Smith. And the Patriots go up 20 to 10. Former University of Houston star Antoine Smith helped put the Patriots up 21 to 10. But it was defensive lineman turned fullback Richard Seymour who helped Smith find the end zone. The Panthers countered the score by Antoine Smith with a heavy dose of Steve Smith. But the Panthers got to the Super Bowl with their punishing ground attack, and that's exactly how they got back in the game. He's got the ball draw play. Deshaun Foster running left at the 30, breaks a tackle. At the 20, sideline 10, 5, Foster dives in the end. And Carolina will go for two. And here's the ball back to throw. Plenty of time. Throws over the middle. Oh. You gotta step up. Individual battles. You gotta step up. One of the key battles of Super Bowl 38 was Carolina's vaunted defensive front four against New England's unsung offensive line. The Patriots dominated the pit. For the third time in the playoffs, New England did not yield a sack. Tom Brady received enough protection to complete a Super Bowl record 32 passes, braving pressure and punishment when necessary. The Patriots also enjoyed surprising success on the ground, running for 127 yards and controlling the ball for nearly 40 minutes. But when they had a chance to virtually seal their second Super Bowl title, they committed their first turnover. Towards the end zone, intercepted. Monty Howard coming up field to the five, to the ten yard line. The turnover they were looking for, Carolina's exhausted defense, Comes up with it. 7.38 to go, fourth quarter. We're still in it. And it's this type of play in the fourth quarter with their team down. Jake DeHolm has been making all year long. Muhammad and Kroll are out wide, near side left. Here's the third and ten call. DeLone back to throw. Nobody open. Now sets up. Oh, deep downfield for Muhammad. The 
Patriots trailed in the game and had to come from behind was right here in November. And now they trail again by a point, 22-21. It's a ball game now. The show enough ain't over yet. We got to give us another. We gotta give How us would that do with that quarterback? No, sir, don't count on it being over. The Panthers had good reason to fear Tom Brady. And since Brady had never lost a playoff game, the Patriots had reason to trust him. Brady avoided Carolina pressure by rolling out of the pocket. And twice he hit David Givens for big gains down the right sideline. Third down and eight. Great snap to Brady. Drifts to his right. Looks. Fires to the right. The quarterback Manning is back there with him and he just slipped and fell down as he's trying to come up to make the play. Mike Rabel comes into the game. For the second time in the quarter, Patriots offensive coordinator Charlie Wise used defensive players in his goal line personnel package. And for the second time, it worked. Play action, fake Brady. Fire, got two sacks on defense and now a, a touchdown to put the Patriots up. Brady will go for a two-point conversion. Falk is running back to the left for Tom Brady in a shotgun. It goes a direct snap to Kevin Falk. Direct snap to Kevin Falk. And with 2.51 to go in Super Bowl 38, it is 29-22. The Patriots lead. your seat belts folks play action go on the pass with time downfield he's got Kroll at the 20 Ricky Kroll to the 15 to the 14 yard line and DeLone is racing his team back down the field what a wild and crazy Super Bowl this has been come on fellas don't let him hang around that's what the Rams did to you DeLone is ready he's got the ball and back to throw looks pulls it in the end zone line up the touchdown the boot. Oh no. Uh -oh. It was out of bounds. Uh -oh. oh my goodness. John Casey can't believe what he just did. It's like putting your tee shot in the woods on the 18th tee box. Uh -huh. You can't cry mulligan. 108 to go. Patriots with all three timeouts remaining and an opportunity to maybe get out of Vinatieri in the field goal ring. Direct snap to Tom Brady. Fires to the near side. It is caught there across midfield. First down, Patriots. Knocked down at about the 47. The Patriots move the chains and the ball. Rolls out to his left. Looking. Fires up the field. It is caught with 31 seconds remaining in the game. Fires left. It is caught by Daniel Graham to the Carolina 40-yard line. He's got it. Drops back to throw. Looks. Fires. Caught. First down, Carolina 23-yard line. Caught by Deion Brown. Patriots oh, call their final timeout. I'm on New England. You got to kick it. Absolutely. Yeah, It'll be about a 41-yard field goal attempt for Adam Vinatieri. He has had one miss and one block in this game. Two years ago, he won it on a 48-yard field goal against St. Louis. Tonight at 29-29, he'll try to win it with about a 41-yard field goal against the Carolina Panthers. What more can you ask for? A pulse-pounding finish to Super Bowl 38. Snap, ball down, kick up, kick is on the way. Kick is good! Houston, we have a champion. For the second time in his brief career, Tom Brady was named Super Bowl MVP.
Some Patriots celebrated their second title in three years. Others traveled a longer road to football paradise. I waited 10 years for this. It's unbelievable. Best girl in the world. This is what football is about. Winning the Super Bowl. Nobody believed in us. We did. Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots. Winners of 15 straight games and champions of the NFL. Again. Two Super Bowl championships in three years for the Patriots. This NFL Films production has been brought to you by the National Football League. The NFL is online at www.nfl.com.